Scorpio, hi. <clears throat> so this is going to be a reading for August 29th through September 4th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Scorpio. <laughs> okay, the overall energy for the reading, the star, there's something you really, really, really want. Um, okay... Interesting. In the recent past, the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Hermit. Eh, a little bit skeptic here, a little bit, you know what, yeah, I'll try this, but eh, whatever. You know, um, definitely not as involved as you show up now in a particular situation. Or, the other side of the coin here, you might have been a little, you know, um, uh, pushed into a corner there, kind of like, yeah, no, Scorpio, I'm, I'm fine, you know, some other time. Um, so, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. In the current situation, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, there are some sort of a commitment that's showing up here, built on love. It's looking pretty good uh, for now. Um, there's definitely an energy going up here, there's, there's, there's a build-up in this energy of a commitment. In the immediate future, the Three of Cups, the Emperor, the Page of Cups. Kind of sustaining that love and it, it, it kind of falls in you in terms of, you know, I want to bring more love to the table, so let's just bring it in, you know, kind of a thing. Um, whew, okay. Let's clarify. Let's see what's up. Let me see the star. <clears throat> Four of Swords, Nine of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. So what you really, really, really want, apparently, is something quite interesting and great. Um, there's an emphasis on self-love. It's kind of like putting yourself first. Whatever happens, reminding yourself to put yourself first and to love yourself through anything that shows up here. Uh, it's a painful process for some reason. I mean, it's hard. It's not easy to love yourself. We always say, but I love myself all the time. Bullshit, we don't. So it's a hard process to actually fall into this place of, you know what? Yeah, I do. So you're doing it. And it's definitely almost kind of coming in as a reminder for you, as a, I hope I remember to do that uh, when whatever happens here happens. Um like not get carried away by oh let me put them first you know hmm. interesting interesting aspect here showing up uh let me do that seven of wands in the recent past Ooh. ace of pentacles ace of swords the chariot there's this there's this energy coming through that's that's kind of like almost like Either it's pulling you in a one direction and because of it, because it's it's kind of feeling like, oh my God, this is out of my control. It's kind of like, ew, what is this? You know, almost scaring you uh, to the point of kind of rejecting it, but not really. Duh. Like I can't control what I'm feeling and it's scary. Um, I love it, but at the same time, I don't know, you know, kind of a kind of an energy shows up here. It's looking like you want to go do something, you know, but I, I don't feel like that um, resistance stopped you, though, if that's you. Let's do the Ace of Wands. Yeah. The High Priestess, the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles. You got the Eight of Pentacles here. Something might have started as a friendship at some point, you know, as a, hmm, I know them, they know me, everything's cool for months, for years, for whatever. 
but intuitively you've been kind of pushed almost towards this whatever this is you know um something definitely built up almost like a foundation to whatever's next here um that's quite nice let's do the hermit The Hierophant, the World card, the Ten of Cups. Huh. Something might have completed here for you and opened up the door to happiness. Whenever something completed for you, whatever that was. Because uh, I, see, I see chapter closed, bam, stepping into full blast happiness. Um, <clears throat> whatever that was, very significant, very healing, um, whatever that chapter was, but it needed to be closed in order for you to, to be able to embrace the next chapter, which is full of happiness here. And I feel like you haven't experienced happiness here. You just opened the door, you stepped right in, and now it's kind of building up in that direction. Cool. <clears throat> Let's do the Eight of Pentacles. In the current situation, Eight of Swords, Knight of Swords, Six of Swords. You know what? Overthinking things is going to make you bail on a lot of things. There's definitely a sense of how do I make this better? How do I make this work? How do I, how do I, what, what, what do I do? What, what, what am I doing here? I don't even, you know, there's that whole sense of too many hows, ifs, um, too much going on in here. It's just going to make you back away from actually doing stuff. Let's say you want to go, what do you want to do? You want to go buy a new door for your garage. My God, it took a while. Um, and you already know, like you, you spotted it, you know which kind, you know what you want. And then you see another option and then you kind of, mm, you know, let me, let me think about it. And then as you swirl around a thousand times through a thousand options, you, through your circling around, you always stop at that first one because that was your instinct. You always stop at that one, but then you continue. Mm, let me look at another thousands. And then you stop again, and then you start, and then you come back to the first one, which I don't know if you're gonna get or not, because by this time, that's what's happening here. You may not even want it anymore. You may be like, "Fuck this! I don't need a garage door. The the old one, you know, rotten one is fine. It's perfect." I don't, I don't. So it kind of takes away from, well, I want to do something. I want to. I know exactly what I want to do, but then, huh? I don't know. I see you back in a way, you know, the more you start overthinking things. Um, and it, it, it concerns this commitment, connection, whatever it is, so that it works out, so that you build on it, so that it grows. In the way it's shown up, it's already grown. You know, all of these things just complicate things. It's not allowing for the energy to go up, you know, it's kind of stagnating things. Um, Ten of Cups, let's see what that is. Seven of Wands, Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups. Stay connected to how you truly feel. I don't know if this is you, in all honesty. You know, could be. I don't get it as being you. But somebody has a tendency to disconnect from how they feel. And that doesn't allow them to feel the, the happiness that's actually surrounding the situation. Or that's supposed to, to, you're supposed to head in that way. Um, so I don't know who this is. They're not disconnected from how they feel. They just have the tendency to, at times, really be practical about things, really nah, forget about the heart, you know? Um, let's do the Four of Wands. Hey. Ten of Swords, King of Swords, the Strength card. It's a very influential kind of an energy. Whoever's doing that disconnects from how they feel. The other person is kind of doing the same thing. It's responding in the same way. It's like, oh, you want to be practical? Let me be practical with you. Okay. And then it kind of 
kills all of the energy that is available for this. Again, there's commitment, there's love, there's things building up there. Um, hmm. I don't know why the response is kind of like, okay, we're disconnecting. Okay, let's disconnect together. Oh, I'm not going to be an idiot. Stay open. Oh. Okay. Um, let's do the Three of Cups in the immediate future. Two of Cups, Three of Cups, the Fool. Ooh. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love. It's like, oh, let's disconnect for a split second and let's live through fear and let's not make it happen. And then once we do that, oh, but I love them so much because my heart is feeling again. And I want this. And, uh, uh, where was your heart through all of this? You know, why, why did you close? Because they closed it. I wasn't supposed to keep it open. Eh. <clears throat> this love is definitely here in the current situation but if we choose not to experience it then when it's kind of pushed to the side we're going to be like oh suddenly i love them i think you loved them before you just didn't allow yourself to feel that um <clears throat> let's do the emperor ace of wands the hangman the eight of wands really wanting to to Put that energy out there to really come from your heart. For some reason, you're pausing on that. There's a little bit of a pause there. Uh, I'm not sure why. I do see energies um, connecting here, but physically, there's definitely a sense of not now. It kind of makes sense. A lot of the times, energies form before the physical, so kind of makes sense there. But um, there's a little bit of I really, really want to. And I'm not going to do it. Almost like it's not the time now. With the Emperor there, I kind of see you knowing what you're doing. You know, so I'm going to give you that credit there. Let's do the Page of Cups. Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, this energy really does want to come out really. You're, you're starting to connect a lot with your heart, with how you feel. Not like in the current situation where, I don't know if, again, you've been influenced, you saw them disconnecting, so you're like, I'm going to do the same, uh, which I don't know why you're your own person, they're their own person. It's like, you know, if... Yeah. Um, anyways, <clears throat> when you start connecting to your heart, this love wants to really, really show up, really come through, really come out. And I see you stepping back and really pausing because I kind of see you looking at ways in which to put that out you know i feel like it's gonna come through um through multiple channels ways um because it's i mean it's a lot so it's, it's it's gonna burst out somehow um good <clears throat> let's see what the universe has there's a final advice Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, the Moon. Interesting, because I don't see you seeing yourself as disconnected. Uh, it's, uh, it's a sneaky energy right here. Because in the beginning, in the current situation, you're not necessarily showing me a disconnection. You're showing me a little bit of overthinking at times. But then this other energy is coming through as, you know what? I'm not going to connect to how I feel. And then you're like, oh. Okay, well, neither am I. How does that respond to this energy of self-love, putting yourself first? You know, if you're responding based on whatever they give you, instead of responding based on how you feel. Because uh, then you open back up. But it's definitely a, a slow-moving, very subtle energy where I don't see you realizing that you're kind of responding to them in the same way that they're showing up, you know, which is a little disconnected from how you are, how you feel. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helps and I'll see you next time. Bye.